In part 3 of the Importing Data tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Import Wizard to step through your data file, customizing the import settings. The wizard is typically used when the file has header lines that need to be parsed, or the file needs custom settings such as fixed width, or for executing LabTalk script at the end of the import for post-processing. I start with a new workbook and click on the Import Wizard button on the standard toolbar, which will launch the wizard. The data type will be ASCII, and then the next step is to choose the data source. I'm going to select one of our sample ASCII files. You'll notice that the import filter for current data type has been assigned. This is a filter already created for this file and shipped with origin. It was automatically picked up as the filter file to use for importing this file because the filter was in the same folder as the data file. I'm going to step through each page of the, of the wizard for you to see the settings, but the first thing I'm going to do before I continue is change the import mode from Start New Books to Replace Existing Data. The data file will then be imported into Book 1. This page has some options for how to rename the worksheet and the workbook. The worksheet will be renamed from a variable. As I continue stepping through, we're going to see that the header lines of the file were parsed and values were extracted and saved in variables. On the header lines page, you see the first few lines of the data file. This particular line was assigned as the long name, and this one as the units. This determines that variables will be extracted. Here different variables were extracted and saved below. Remember that run type? So trial run 1 will be used to rename the worksheet. I'll continue stepping through until I get to the Save Filter page. It's on this page. I do want to check the checkbox, but instead of replacing the current filter that was saved in the Data File folder, I want to save the filter to the window, to the workbook itself. And I want to specify advanced filter options so I can associate some LabTalk script with my filter. When I click Next, I now can enter some LabTalk code. I had previously copied that to save myself some typing here, so I will paste this code in. This will create a new column and automatically assign the long name and units and fill that column based on the values in column 2. We're going to see that it's converting Kelvin to Celsius. So when I hit finish, the data is imported and our new column is created. Let me click on the Import Wizard button again and pick another data file. Notice that this time the import filter that was recognized used the filter in the active window. So Origin picks up the filter settings that were saved in the worksheet. All I have to do is click Finish and the file gets imported and the script gets executed. Now that the import settings have been saved to the worksheet, I could perform analysis on this imported data, save the workbook as an analysis template for repeat processing of similar data files. Please see the tutorial on batch processing for more information. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.